What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Reverse 1999 video. First off, happy Saturday. Man oh man is it ever busy in this damn household with two kids running around causing mayhem on the weekend. So I apologize for the lack of content today, but I do want to talk about something guys. As you progress through the game, you may very well know that crafting and farming materials is going to play a major part in your progression, especially if you're working on i3 or if you're looking to upgrade your resonate to a higher level, which I believe 15 is the highest level you can go. So what I want to do today, guys, is kind of go over something that Pridewin has put together. It's called a cheat sheet for farming, and this will save you a massive amount of stamina if you craft correctly and if you farm the proper stages. Okay, so first thing I want to point out, obviously, if you look at your crew, depending if you're using four stars or five stars or six stars, etc., four stars and three stars stop at I2, so you'll save yourself massive amounts of um, materials because you only can stop at I2, but obviously that limits you in terms of progression. But as you progress in your resonant, you're going to need specific items such as the biting box. Now, the biting box is a prime example of something you don't want to farm. So with this being said, let me go and show you guys what I'm referring to real quick. So again, shout out to Pride Room for putting this together as usual. Their site is incredible for information and I want to show you guys what you do want to farm, what stages you want to farm and what you actually want to craft. Okay, so these are going to be important things to help you save massive amounts of stamina and shout out to the uh, to the person who created this, I believe is a CN player uh, because this guy here is all in CN. So Purple tier materials, start off with that. The majority of purple material is better to farm them directly. The only exception is in fact the biting box that has the lowest drop rate and weakest nodes, which will change in patch 1.4, which is a long time from now with the release of chapter five. So let's go through each one of these and see what's worth farming and not. Okay, so uh, bifurcated skeleton. Now this here is gonna be a big item for like eternity. I believe Balloon Party uses this. So a lot of it, I believe um, uh, mineral units will use this one. You guys can see here, it'll give you the percentage drop rate of where to get them and what stage to farm and how much stamina it costs and if it's worth farming. So this one is in fact worth farming depending what you need it for. Uh, stay, 18 stamina for 420 hard, which is actually a pretty tough one. Alternatively, you can see the drop rate is only 0.2%, a little less than 0.2% less on 37 hard, which is a much better, easier level. The only difference here is Spell of Fortune drops a 43.97% or 90%, which is really, really high for this in case you need it. So a good thing to farm for. And the Liquid Terrifier here drops only at 23% for the blue item. So there's a pretty big difference in drop rate, but also the difficulty level is also pretty, pretty high, right? Now, if you've completed 420 hard, you're good to go, right? For those who have not, obviously you want to farm 3-7. You can also get Shatter Bones pretty much at the same rate. This is actually a little higher. And then Spell of Banishing is 202% while Trembling Tooth is only 56%. So depending on what materials you need, either, either stage is pretty much the same for this, but the alternative items you may want to farm depending on that, right? Biting Box, consider crafting. Very good advice. It drops at 410 at only 28%, guys. Really, really low chance. And not to mention, everything else here is fairly low as well. 54% for Rough Silver, which you can get in better stages. 3.05% for Liquid terror, for, uh, terror. Uh Spell of Fortune is 5.72. And then the Silver Ore is 70%. Okay, so this is the only one you actually want to farm. Now, where do you farm this? Uh, if you go to the Wilderness, in, in terms of crafting, sorry, where do you craft this, I should say? Go to the Wilderness. If you will, jump into your crafting spring right here, right? This, this, is my, this is my challenge account, by the way. You guys can see it here. This is why you need Spell of Fortune right there, right? It's available in that 420 stage, which is the best one to farm it at. You have other op op options as well, obviously. Uh, and then, of course, we saw Liquefied t uh, Terror everywhere else. So this is how you build this one, and you need 300 uh, Sharpidanti. So not too bad, all right? Definitely worth crafting this over farming because again it costs 18 stamina to farm and it is absolutely a terror to drop so definitely go there all right clawed pendulum even though the drop rate is a 31.6 percent this one here is going to be pretty much critical for your resonant and other forms of um progression right even though it has a low drop rate and underwhelming drop rates on the other material as well Farm Claw Pendulum is the best thing to do, mainly because of Solid uh, Solidus. Solidus is another blue item that drops as a coin, and it's also extremely low drop rate. Uh, being a Nightmare to Farm a Craft, that will force you to use so much more stamina, and hopefully RNG drops it. So, Farming Claw 
pendulum is absolutely the way to go. If you guys look here, right, Solidus is, like they said, a nightmare to farm. It's rare. It's rare. It's hard. It's possible. But again, it's super, super hard to get. Uh, and I agree with them. So farming this is better than crafting it. So keep that in mind when you're doing that. Okay, so it is available to farm. So make sure you're doing that, guys, and saving yourselves a headache uh, down the line. All right, so that's a very, very good advice. And I think everybody should be following that one. And again, this is used for a lot of different forms of resonant leveling and character leveling. Okay, Holy Silver. Um, two, three, worth farming. A good alternative is three, eight. Uh, the reason why it's good farming here, look at the silver, 100, 167%. This one is 122%. So whether you need the silver ore or the, shatter, um, the shattered bones, either way, worth farming for those materials. Plus, you get a chance at the holy silver at a fairly good rate. Uh, prophetic bird. Uh, this one here is also 45%, 47 So again, very good, easy to farm. Spell of Fortune is really low here, but you get Spell of Banishing. Spell of Banishing is, is good to have. But over here, you get a better chance at the rough silver ingot. So if you need uh, ingots, you can get 3.9, 2.6 if you need Spell of Banishing. So... Either or. I'd probably farm this one, to be honest, because you have a chance to spell a fortune. I, I mean, it's pretty important to get that anyways, as it is, right? Both stages are good, though. Salt and Mandrake, also something worth farming. Again, the high one here is going to be the, the Magnesia Crystals. Uh, 421 is super, super hard to beat, obviously, at, at hard for some, some people. So uh, drop rate is lower, but you have higher chance at some of the other items, especially the Liquify Terror. But there's better places to get that. Um, and then here is the blue stuff. Now, the blue stuff is great because... You can farm these at a high rate. They can be used for uh, crafting as well, too. Uh, as you can see here, drop chance of a material is 0% drop chance. It means you can't drop it directly, but you get a good chance drop rate of its lower tier variant. So you can farm the lower tier variant and craft the higher one. So that's the ones with the star. Sorry, that's the one with 0% chance. If there's a star mark beside the percentage, the sample size is too small and the data may not be fully accurate. Keep that in mind. One, so uh, historic bones. 111, 73, 73%, definitely a good one. Liquefied Terror, we've seen a lot of this. 114, 66%. Uh, milled Magnesia, 71% there at uh, 4.5. Um, rough Silver Ingot, 315, 108%. With, this is with an asterisk, so the numbers may not be right. Either they, they raise it a little too high or a little too low. We don't know yet, right? Uh, Solidus, here we go. 3.5, 46% only, right? Directly farming Solidus is, is not advised, guys. There's no dedicated node and also has purple material, so it's better just to craft this. All right, so what's the crafting involved for this one? Let's take a quick look here. Go back to the Wishing Spring. And let's find it. There it is. So you get yourself your Spell of Banishing. You get yourself some Silver Ore. You're good to go. So craft it. Absolutely craft that, guys. It's way, way faster and way smarter to do it that way than anything else. Because you'll be farming for days to get enough of these to, to make them useful, right? Spell of Fortune, 416, 203%. So, again, with, there's no asterisk there. So, that means it's for, for sure dropping. And then green tier material, right? Here you go. Silver Ore, 167%, 2.3. And then Spell of Banishing, for example, 420. Uh, you can do that one at um, 202. So, these two are the best chances to get yourself some Solidus. And that will increase your chance to save some stamina. Create some of the harder things through crafting. And benefit to level up your characters insight or your resonant all right guys pain i'll put this in the link below check it out in the description again shout out to pride one thank you so much for putting that together for us translating the original guide and for the rest of you guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys later have a happy saturday